In this video, we're diving into the symptoms of a bad fuel regulator. By the end of this video, you'll learn about the symptoms of a bad fuel regulator, its causes, and the necessary steps to diagnose and troubleshoot. The fuel pressure regulator is responsible for maintaining the optimal pressure within the fuel system. By ensuring that the correct pressure is maintained, the regulator enables the injectors to release the appropriate amount of fuel to achieve the ideal air-fuel mixture ratio. The fuel pressure regulator can typically be found at one end of the fuel rail in systems that include a return feed for fuel. In return-less systems, the regulator is integrated into the fuel tank near the pump, making it easier to access. A malfunctioning fuel regulator can manifest in various symptoms, indicating potential issues with the vehicle's performance. Let's explore the symptoms of a bad fuel regulator one by one. The number one symptom is rich or lean fuel mixture. A malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator may cause the engine to run with either a rich or lean fuel mixture. This imbalance can lead to symptoms such as rough idling, stalling, or poor engine performance. It may trigger trouble codes like P0171 or P0172 when scanned with OBD2. To learn more about your car's trouble codes and how to fix them, check out the video playlist in the corner. The number two symptom is fuel leaks. A faulty fuel regulator can result in fuel leaks around the regulator housing or fuel rail. This occurs due to the high fuel pressure in the system caused by the faulty fuel regulator. In case of vacuum fuel regulator leak is observed in the vacuum port. If fuel is observed in the vacuum line or leaking from the vacuum port, it indicates a torn diaphragm in the regulator. The number three symptom is black smoke from exhaust. An excessively rich fuel mixture caused by a faulty fuel regulator can lead to black smoke emissions from the exhaust. This indicates incomplete combustion of fuel and may also result in reduced fuel efficiency. Additionally, it may cause carbon blockage on your catalytic converter and oxygen sensors. The number four symptom is check engine light. A malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator may illuminate the check engine light on the dashboard. This can occur due to fault codes related to fuel system issues detected by the engine control unit. Later in this video, we'll discuss common trouble codes associated with a bad fuel regulator. The number five symptom is engine stalling. Erratic fuel pressure regulation can cause engine stalling, hesitation, or surging during acceleration. This occurs when the engine receives an inconsistent fuel supply, affecting its ability to maintain a steady idle or respond smoothly to throttle input. The number six symptom is no start. Continuing to drive with a bad fuel regulator with excess fuel supply over time can cause carbon buildup on the spark plugs. This buildup prevents the spark plugs from igniting the air fuel mixture, resulting in difficulty starting the engine or a complete inability to start it. The number seven symptom is reduced engine performance. Overall reduction in engine performance, including decreased power output and sluggish acceleration, can be indicative of a faulty fuel pressure regulator. A malfunctioning fuel regulator can trigger OBD2 codes. Here are some common error codes related to a bad fuel regulator. The list of related codes is long, therefore we have provided this information in the description with their meanings. Check in the description for more details. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above, it's essential to inspect the other components of the fuel delivery system that exhibit the same symptoms of bad fuel regulator. Issue number one is the faulty fuel pump. A failing fuel pump can lead to inadequate fuel pressure, resulting in symptoms such as hard starting, hesitation, and engine misfires. Check out the video in the corner for guidance to diagnose a faulty fuel pump. The number two issue is clogged fuel filter. A clogged fuel filter can obstruct the flow of fuel to the engine, resulting in reduced fuel pressure and poor engine performance. Symptoms may overlap with those of a failing fuel regulator, making it important to check and replace the fuel filter if necessary. You can check out the video in the corner for guidance to find a clogged fuel filter. The number three issue is a dirty fuel injectors. Dirty or clogged fuel injectors can disrupt the fuel spray pattern, 
leading to engine performance issues such as rough running, hesitation, and reduced fuel efficiency. You can check out the video in the corner for guidance to find dirty fuel injectors. To diagnose the faulty fuel regulator issue, you need to ensure that a faulty fuel regulator is the root cause. To confirm the fuel regulator is functioning properly, the fuel regulator needs to be tested. Here's how you can test the fuel regulator. In this test method, we check the fuel pressure. Testing a fuel regulator begins with checking the fuel pressure at the fuel rail. The fuel rail is a metal pipe that connects the injectors to the fuel pump through fuel regulator. The first step is to locate fuel rail and test port. Find the fuel rail in your vehicle's engine bay. This metal pipe connects the fuel injectors to the fuel pump. Look for the test port on the fuel rail. It's a small valve-like fitting where you'll attach the fuel pressure gauge. The second step is to prepare fuel pressure gauge. Ensure you have a fuel pressure gauge with the necessary adapters to fit the test port. You may need to refer to your vehicle's manual or consult an automotive store to ensure you have the correct equipment. The third step is to relieve fuel pressure. Before attaching the gauge, relieve any built-up pressure in the fuel system to prevent fuel spray. This can typically be done by removing the fuel pump fuse or relay and then cranking the engine a few times. The fourth step is to connect fuel pressure gauge. Once the pressure is relieved, attach the fuel pressure gauge to the test port on the fuel rail. Ensure it's securely connected to prevent leaks during testing. The fifth step is to turn ignition on. Turn the ignition key to the on position without starting the engine. This activates the fuel pump and allows you to measure the pressure in the fuel system. Finally, look at the reading on the fuel pressure gauge. It should fall within the specified range for your vehicle, which can vary depending on the make and model. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and repair. Your support helps us create more valuable content like this. Thank you for watching.